lift it, lift it, lift, lift, lift. more. What's up guys, Donovan with Team Tate Outdoors. Today, we're in the Dry Tortugas. Fishing with Del Fishing, Captain David here. 20 year old captain, third generation Del Fishing. He's got me and Tom, Melissa and Linda. Just getting ready to get these lines down. This is my first drop. We're gonna see us catching some big fish today, guys. Stick with us. Ought to be fun. Go down there and like, subscribe, and uh, let's, let's get on some heavy fish here. Keep it right at the bottom. Right at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Same way we do it in Miami. Baby, you got the big camera. Okay. Yeah, hey, honey. If I start catching a fish, can you go right there where Melissa's at to to film it? There's a fish. Here we go. That's, that's a good fish, guys. Let's switch gears here. Let's just crank on them. Yes, sir. It's not doing a lot of digging, but it definitely feels like a keeper fish. We are 260 feet of where you out, guys. Now, if I tell you that that was my first drop, Oh, woo! Low gear, low gear, just, just come up, baby. Woo! All right, I think I've got past the. Uh, we're gonna start using the rod. Woo! Them uh. Them torn labrum arm shoulders from the army. There we go. Here we go. You got him? Get him up, Tom. There we go, guys. There you go, buddy. Woo! Now, you got it? That is why you guys come to the dry tortugas right there. That is my very first, what is that, American red snapper, right? American Red Snapper, 260 feet. Very first drop. Woo! That is what it's all about. That fish is gonna be delicious. Can't wait. All right, let's get down and let's get another one. Good job, Captain. Yeah. Woo! You guys, what we're fishing with is that little pin fish. Circle hook, sending it to the bottom. Here we go. Nice and slow. The drop is probably one of the most important parts of, of this fishing. It's because if you drop your lead too fast, what's gonna happen is your bait is gonna spiral around your lead. Your lead's gonna be below. Your bait's gonna spiral around the main line. You're gonna think you're fishing a good line. And basically you have a clump of junk down at the bottom. So bottom fishing, nice, slow, 
descent. Increase your hookup rate. I don't know if I want to go again, Kat. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, hand me that thing. Let me, hand me that. No, I'm all right. It's okay. We might get Linda pulling on this next fish. I'm almost at the bottom from where my line was the last time I brought it up. Don't rush your setup, Tom. I was only running one six ounce, by the way. You know, I wonder if your line got spun up and he hit it and cut you off there. Your, your bait was right up at your main line. Because that's exactly what would happen is... Man. How deep are we here, David? All right. Okay, I'm at the bottom, guys. Here we go again. Let's, uh... Now... We're keeping contact with the bottom with our weights, okay? And you've got to keep letting out lines slowly so you feel that bottom. If you're not feeling the bottom, your bait's coming up too high. Now, snappers are a fish that hangs right on the bottom, along with grouper. Uh-oh. Started moving forward, David? A little? Okay. All right, I was just, I noticed I was starting to get slack, so figured maybe you're moving. All right. The lactic acid is all built up in my, here we go again, boys. Oh, well, that was a good hit. Come on, fish. No, he's not on there yet. Now, that was a good hit, but hopefully he didn't take the bait right off. We're hooking these pinfish under the jaw, out that hard spot of their nose. You gotta make sure to get it out that bone or else that bait can get pulled right off, so. When your captain's hooking the bait up and throwing it out, there's very specific ways on where that hook is actually going. It makes all the difference. Hey, you gonna catch fish this time? I'm gonna try. <laughs> Third time's charm, right? If I don't get it by here in a second, I might pull it back up because I had a pretty good thump and because uh, I think possibly that last pull could have could have picked that head right off. You know, took the whole bait. Trying to see if I can feel that pinfish swimming. I'm gonna get a hit real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up. Come on, Tommy boy. Yeah, I'm t I may move it. I may, I may put it. Um, no. Put it like here, maybe. Wait a minute. That's a bite. There it goes. Got him, guys. I felt that. Come on. Time to work. Sorry, guys. Time to work here. Oh, his butt rod is slipping.
my biggest worry in fishing like this is getting sharks. So the faster you can get those fish to the surface, the less apt you are to have a shark follow it up from the bottom and find dinner. So, but normally about halfway up, these fish's air bladder starts to come out their mouth and it gets a lot easier to catch that fish. Get him, Tom, you got him? Right here, guys. Now, I believe I get two red snapper. Guys, and so this, now I believe red snapper, what's the size limit on a red snapper? Is it 18 like a mutton? That's close to being a, a legal fish. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put them on the, we're gonna put them on some on the tape and see if that fish will make legal size. It's actually good. This fish did not did not throw up his air bladder. It's a good sign. Whoa. That's the bad sign. Woo. There we go. All right. David, where's your uh, measure? There's so there's a knot right on the cutting table. Line them up here. This is uh, 18, that's 20. Okay. And that's in the water. If I don't, if I don't. He's definitely legal. Yeah, he's over that. So he's over 18 and he's over 20, which means, means that's a legal fish, guys. Illegal American red snapper, and their gills plates are sharp, so watch out. Yeah. Okay. Barely, oh yeah, barely touched okay. Well, Tom. <laughs> Tom's two to zip. Sorry, <laughs> two to zip, Tom. That's all I gotta say. It may not seem like a competition, but it's always a competition. Now, there was a time where Tom and his friend Scott. We were sitting on the boat like this, and Tom and Scott were fishing one side, and I was fishing the other. They all caught black grouper, and I caught a goose egg. Dave, it's okay if I stand here, right? Yeah. For a minute, for at least a minute. Low gear, baby. Low gear. Low gear, baby. Whoa. Ooh. You got a shark right there. Yeah. Yeah. I felt that. Yeah. Wow. Bigger sharks? <laughs> it wasn't a little one. That felt like a grouper or a big mutton digging. Yeah. Well, that's what they've been feeling like. Oh, man. I mean, boom, 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 boom. Never to be used again. Get him, Tom. Get him, Tom. Come on, Tom. What's Tom got? What's Tom got, guys? Putting steady pressure on it. Tom, how you feeling? I'm feeling a little warm. <laughs> yeah? I see color. Yeah, right in there, right in there. Grouper. Snapper. Oh, Is it a grouper or a snapper? Oh, here's Scam, a baby. Woo. We got dinner, baby. Look at his eyes bulged out. Nice fish, Tom. I caught one of these in decades. Woo. Oh, there's a bite. Dumped it, dumped it, dumped it. Got him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's a grouper. It's really digging hard. 
Ah, yeah, that's a big fish, guys. That's a good fish. Oh, yeah. I think I've got the... Put the heat to them in the beginning. That really helps. Now we use that rod a little bit. Help me. It's getting heavier. Oh, another beautiful red snapper right there. Beautiful fish. It is amazing how bright and shiny that red actually is in that fish. Glistens. They come up from the bottom so fast that you can hear the air seeping out of their scales. So cool. David, love these things, man. Woo! I think I'd rather be on that boat. You probably would. Be. <gasps> there you go. There you go. Go, baby. I was on. Well, did he come back? I don't know. I think he come off. Yeah, it looks like he's off. Right up. We didn't have a chance. No. Not on that rod. And you got your bait <laughs> back. Nice. <laughs> yeah, those are such good eating. Yeah, they are. Tortugas trip, guys. This is what it's all about. All the way down there? All right, take that slack up. The hip was super soft. As soon as you feel them, lift that sinker up. Yeah. You'll be able to feel that bite better. There you go, Tom. Tom's on one, guys. Go back down. The clicker's oh. on the left side of your reel. That clicker? Yeah. Let's see what I got. Oh, it's a grouper. What you got? The hook got on the boat. Hold on. Hold on. That couldn't happen again if you wanted it to. I got it. Oh, he's off. There you go. Here. 
You got him? Yeah. Woo! There he goes, guys. My very first scant grouper. And do not put your fingers in them there. gills. It's like Velcro. Woo! Yeah. That was not. There we go. Here is a spot you can touch, though. Look at that, guys. Woo! Nice scant grouper. Poked out the eyes. That's going to be delicious. Ooh, I love it. Lift, up. lift, lift, lift. Wine, wine, baby. Wine. Yeah, wine, lift yeah. up. Yeah, girl. Yeah. Lift, lift. Put, put the rod in your belly. Put the rod in your belly. Pull up there. Now, wine. Just turn the handle. Turn the handle, Linda. Keep turning, Linda. Keep, keep turning. Got it. You got him. You got him. He's coming. <laughs> You got him, babe. <laughs> Get him, honey. <laughs> Woo! Keep going, baby. It's hard. Keep going. I know it's hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> keep whining, honey. Just keep turning that handle. Just keep turning that handle. <laughs> Just keep turning. Yeah, you are. You got it. You got it. Every time the boat rolls, turn the handle. To turn, just yep, yeah. there. You got him. You got it, babe. You got it. You got him, honey. Just turn the handle. Just turn the handle. Trying to turn the handle. Doing a great job, Linda. Woo! Yes, sir. Yeah, it's ab workout. You got it. Maybe you got that big fish. Come on, turn that handle, honey. Turn that handle. I'm out of breath. Yes, you're doing good, babe. You've almost got it past the halfway point now. Keep going, honey. Keep going. One turn at a time. You're getting them. You're getting them. Keep coming, Linda. You got him, hon. Keep going, babe. Keep, Keep going. going. Turn that handle. You got it. You got it. He's coming up. Yeah, he's coming. Good job. Color. Got color. Looks like a scamp. Come on up here with him, Linda. I'll get him when he comes up, dude. Okay. Come on up there, Linda. All right. Come on up. Oh, yeah. Look at the size of this Woo! Red grouper. That's a nice red grouper. Come here. Bring pull, it to pull me. Pull right over, Linda. Get that sucker up, Tom. She's got her little fire truck here. Woo! Nice. <laughs> Baby, that's your biggest fish ever. Yes, that like, hold him. Okay, I gotta hold him. There you go. Got one. That was the bite. Yeah, yeah, we're real, we're real. Wine, 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 wine. That's a good fish. Oh my yeah, that's a good fish. Fine, fine. Lift, one, 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 one. Down, 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 one, down. One, down. Lift. Have you done the last one? Yes, I see it. No, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Just lift. You got it? You got it, one. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold that rod, don't let go of that rod. This is heavier than that one. Let's, let's, let's get it. What? I don't want it, what are you doing? <laughs> Wine, just crank. Get that grass off. Okay, crank, crank, crank the handle. Crank the handle. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're all good. We're hurry, girl, you're gonna get a shark on that thing. Yep. Yeah. Just crank, babe, just crank. There you go, there you go. Just crank it, turn the handle, just turn the handle. Just turn the handle, just turn the handle. Come back this way. Yeah, 
You got it, babe. You got it. That's a giant fish. That's a big fish, honey. You got just keep tackling them, hon. Lift, lift, lift. There you go. Oh, he's getting eaten by a shark right now. Look, 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 look. Get the camera down. Here he comes, Linda. Here he comes, Linda. What do you want me to do with the rod? Just, just hold the rod tight. That's a big shark. Yeah, you don't want to hop in the water here. Donovan. Just hold on, hon. It's not coming Look. back. Look at that thing. Hold it right there. He's going for it. Reel it in slowly. Uh, baby, lift it. Reel, 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 reel. Reel. Okay, hold it right there. Hold, hold stop, right stop, there. stop, stop. Stop. Don't move it. Don't move lift, it. Lift, lift, <laughs> lift. It, lift it, lift it, lift, lift. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> well, look at the shark over there. Look. Yeah, you're chumming all the shark. Now uh, the shark's gonna be in the area. Oh, uh, look at this, guys. That was a giant red so snapper. Alive. Oh, honey. That's a good red snapper. Uh, <laughs> you got eaten by a shark. You were going too slow. Why well, is so heavy? Oh right. my goodness. Well, there it is, guys. So, babe, what do you think about the, the whole Tortugas trip? Woo! Did you have fun? Yeah. I enjoyed it. It was nice. You know you outfished me, right? No. I caught three red snapper, which you get one of those. And um, did I catch a grouper? I yes. caught one scamp grouper. Yes. And you caught, you picked the rod up for 10 minutes, and you caught a big red grouper, and you caught a giant red snapper that got eaten by a shark. Yes. <laughs> Which, <laughs> that, that was, was crazy. That was pretty cool. It was like it was pulling me in. I was like, I can't hold on to this. <laughs> Well, hey guys, we just got back off the water with uh, Dell Fishing. This is Captain David. This young man put us on the fish, guys. Uh, you guys saw what we were catching. I mean, the water was perfect. We had absolute awesome conditions today. Fishing David, it was great. It was great, man. Yeah. I mean, even my wife, Linda, she caught that giant red grouper, and that's the biggest fish she's ever caught in her whole life. And she was pulling, she was crying about it, but yeah. she made it happen. It's the way it goes. Yeah, so if people want to book a trip, how, how do they get a hold of you? Del Fishing, look us up. Uh, we got a website, we have social media, Instagram, Facebook. Hit us up and uh, we'll get you guys out there. It's out there. Hey guys, stay tuned for next time where we show you how to clean and cook some of the delicious fish we caught in the dry tortugas. You're not going to want to miss this episode. Thanks for watching. Ooh, that looks so juicy.